Windows makes it easy to do a full system restore if you have previously set up your backup. Doing a full system restore can come in handy if you have any problems with your computer, such as viruses, hard drive failures, or anything else that could go wrong. If your computer boots in the Windows, you can access system recovery by going to Start, All Programs, Maintenance, and then Backup and Restore. At the bottom, you will see a section called Restore. There are a few different types of restore options to choose from. The option that we are looking for is going to be Recover Settings or your computer. Then click Advanced Recovery Methods. This is where we can choose which type of recovery method we would like to use. Choose the first option to use a system image that we created earlier. Now you will be given the option to back up all your data to an external drive. I recommend that you do this so that you don't lose any files that you created since your last backup. I'm going to use a USB flash drive to back up my files. After the external storage device is plugged in, click Backup Now. Select the drive. For me, it's going to be Removable Disk F. Then click Next. Leave the defaults to let Windows choose which files to back up. Click Next. Then click Save Settings and Run Backup. You might need to click the Backup Now button if the backup does not start automatically. When the backup is finished, go back to the other window and click the Restart button. Once the computer restarts, choose US. Then click Next. Windows will now search for a backup image. From here, you will be able to use the most recent system image, or you can choose a previous system image. I'm going to go with the recommended system image, then click Next. Click Next again. Verify that it's a correct system image. Click Finish. And then click Yes. Your computer will now be re-imaged. This process can take up to a few hours, depending on the amount of data that you have. When it's finished, your computer will be restarted. Now click Restore My Files. Select the drive where you saved the file backup. Then click Next. Select the checkbox to select all files from this backup. Click Next. We want the files to go back to their original location, then click Restore. If you have any conflicts, select the checkbox at the bottom. Then click Copy and Replace. When the restore is done, click Finish. If your computer does not boot, you can use a system repair disk or a Windows 7 operating system disk to access the system recovery. I will show you how to do this in the next video.